So this video is an introduction to the Veteran Affairs Program called VETTECH, which stands for Veteran Employment Through Technology Education Courses. This is not about veterinarian technicians. If that's what you came looking for, sorry to disappoint. What it is, what VETTECH is, V-E-T-T-E-C, is a program established in April 2019 by the Department of Veteran Affairs, and it's a pilot program. And it's, it, the point is to cover training, cover the tuition for training for computer software development, programming, data processing, um, and IT. And the, the purpose is to take you as a transitioning veteran and give you the training and the skills necessary for an in-demand tech job. So it covers tuition for a full-time tech training program and it gives you BAH while you're in your training. And these are usually coding boot camps. There's also a handful of community college courses like certifications, and I'll, I'll pull up a list of the eligible schools in a moment. So who's eligible for the training? It's open to veterans. You must not be on active duty. Uh, here is the actual Veterans Affair, va.gov slash education slash about GI Bill. I'll put that in the links. Um, so anyone who is not on active duty or within 180 days of separating from active duty, and you must qualify for the VA education assistance under the GI Bill, and you must have at least one day of unexpired GI Bill entitlement, and you are accepted into a program by a VA approved training provider. So not every coding boot camp or every program that I mentioned automatically accepts you. A lot of them have prerequisites or like courses that you have to take before you're actually eligible to enroll in the program. And those courses are usually free. For example, a coding boot camp might have a week-long 101 that is just an introduction to coding. And it's kind of to just see if, if you're capable of learning at the pace that the course goes and if it's uh, and it gives you a chance to see like is this something I want to do before you commit to a uh, three to six month program. So um, if you're eligible, if you've met all those requirements, you can apply for the vet tech program right here. How do I apply? Click this link, and then it'll have you sign in. Assuming you've already created a VA uh, account, and then you'll go through and you'll fill out the application, the questions that it asked for. Once you apply, it takes a while to review, to, for the VA to review it. It says within 30 days. Um, in my experience, it takes about two, two and a half weeks as of fall 2021. And if you're approved, you'll get a certificate of eligibility and you'll get that in an email. And then uh, that email is what you can take to the school that you apply to, the coding boot camp or whatever program you end up going for, and that is your ticket to enroll. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the schools that are participating in this program. So for veterans, browse the list of VA-approved vet tech training providers. Follow that link. And here you go. It's, they're all alphabetical by state. So you got Arizona, Galvanize Inc. There's one in Phoenix. And the type of courses they have is the Data Science Immersive, 420 hours, the Hack Reactor Software Engineering Immersive. And if you click this link, it'll take you to their website. So you can learn a little bit more about the school, about the programming, about the program. And this one, it looks like, is in a co-working space in Phoenix. They got all sorts of information about the program. And keep in mind, uh, in fall 2021, a lot of these are online. They're virtual for COVID, if not all of them. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, state by state, city by city dependent, of course. But uh, let's see what we got here. So computer user support specialist, cybersecurity specialist, information security specialist, network security professional preparatory, full stack immersive. So they're all like some of these are, are 
coding boot camps. Some of them are certifications in like CompTIA or other industry recognized uh, type of programs. So that is it. It's a really good program. Oh, I should mention they're actually out of funding for this fiscal year. So, and fortunately for you, this fiscal year is only three more days. I'm recording this on September 27th. So on October 1st, start the new federal fiscal year and the vet tech funding will be back. So for the next four days, you cannot apply for this program. Um, after that, on October 1st, apply. There will be a new set of funding and they'll accept eligible veterans to do the program until funding runs out. So it's a fantastic program. I highly recommend it. And uh, it'll it's not easy. Coding boot camps aren't easy. They're a lot of work, but you'll come out a lot better for the experience. I did another video about coding boot camps and my endorsement of them. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions that I can answer for you, please let me know. Otherwise, check out the link. I'll post that in the video notes. Thanks. Bye.